In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your organic rankings in really less than 15 minutes by filling in the blanks. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great brand building videos and videos on Amazon PPC. The listing quality dashboard identifies and helps you fix listing issues that affect discoverability, detailed page experience, and customer returns. Now, I'm gonna put a link down to learn more about this, but I'm just gonna go through pretty much what Amazon talks about with the listing quality dashboard and what the benefits are. So this is a dashboard that shows you product listings that need improvement and provides recommendation on which product attributes you should provide. By adding the recommended information for your products, you can improve your discoverability. So when you fill in the, the filters, you can, or, Customers can then use the filters for your products when you fill in the, the different attributes that Amazon wants for you. And you can see over there when people use the filters, you can also enable product overview experience. So you can see that highlighted area in red, that is actually different areas and that's showing up above the bullets now. And so your attributes are filled in there. So make sure you're filling in that area. And this is important because it helps with that filtering like we just talked about, but also what patients want so or what customers want. Sorry, doctor, mind talking right there. So then you can also see that when they're shopping, you can see this like spec view in the search. And so it has those attributes in the search. So for quick reference, when they're browsing different products, if you don't have those, you're not going to show and they're probably not going to click on your feature. And then you can compare in, in the search as well. So that's what you're seeing right here. Price per unit attribute. This will show the price per unit. And so it can show like a cheaper price per unit or how much is how much you're getting with that. And so you might make a sale more. So you can see that 48 cents an ounce, 30 cents an ounce, 31 cents an ounce, 64 cents an ounce. And that's because they put those attributes in there. And then you can potentially reduce customer returns. So customers often return products due to lack of critical product information on the detail page. So you're just giving them more details. And then finally, what I'm showing right here is take time sensitive actions to prevent suppression. So these are all products that we've had suspended, search suppressed, I should say not suspended, for close to two months now. They cannot be found in search, which means sales plummet. And all we, all we had to do was fill in the size of these products. And if we, except for the eye cream that, that needed something else, but the sunglasses needed the size. And the funny thing is now that we've put the size in, it hasn't gone back to normal because Amazon is Amazon. So with that being said, make sure you go to the listing quality dashboard and take care of this. It takes less than 15 minutes, unless you really don't have anything in your listing. Um, it probably will take you less than 15 minutes per product. Um, it took us about an hour to go through all of our products. We have about 30 to 40 SKUs. And so it was really simple to do. So let me switch over to my screen and I'll show you exactly how to do this. All right, so here we are inside the listing quality dashboard. You can go up here to inventory, improve listing quality, and that will bring up this dashboard. Now you can see that we do a pretty good job of doing it, so you don't see anything here. But what would happen is you'd have the product name here, how many available page views in the last 30 days, sales in the last 30 days, and your recommendations would appear right here. And those recommendations would be things like size, color, lens color, and it will be very specific for your product. And so it's as simple as that. You just fill it in. And so it will show two different recommendations right here. And then it will say view all 10 or view all five, click the view all, and then you can put all of them in right there and you can even make it. So if it's not applicable to your product, just say that. So there will be three little dots here. You can click those and it will say, not applicable to our products. So you can click that as well. So I hope this helped. So your action items for this video, take one to two hours to go through and fix all the blanks in your listing quality dashboard. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. And that is why we created this channel. On top of Amazon PPC, we're gonna share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but that's our goal and we want to take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building in the Amazon PPC strategies.